Hello everyone, this is Eddie the Magic Monk. We're going to continue with Java programming today and we're going to um, keep going with this game and try to make it a better game. So, uh, well, you guys probably didn't know that it was even a game, but anyway. So, what we're going to do now is we're going to roll this dice more than once. Okay, and basically what we wanted to do is we wanted to keep rolling the dice or the die until the number 2 comes up. So, how do we do that? Well, if we want to keep rolling it, we could just keep repeating this a dot roll. And will display the number again so already you can see that we're repeating some code okay we're having to repeat two lines of code every time so if we do that let's run this now and see what happens so by the way you can just press F11 to run the program so I'm gonna press F11 and you can see that it's run, it's rolled the die one, two, three, four, five, five times. So it's rolled the die five times. It's display the result down here. Now you can see that every time I roll and I want to display it, I'm typing out two lines of code. And it's getting a bit repetitive. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go to my dice class and inside the row method I'm going to make it also print a message on the screen to say that this is what I have rolled okay so I'm gonna type in this code here I'm gonna copy it and I'm gonna paste it here so that it prints out on the screen you rolled a And then I'm gonna you rolled a uh, plus the number that I just rolled. So remember the plus when you have a string, what happens is it just appends onto the end of the string. Okay, so it's not a numerical plus. It's two strings printed out next to each other. So what's gonna happen is instead of having to type out two lines of code to show what number that I have just rolled I can just put in a dot roll and and what's gonna happen is it's just gonna roll five times one two three four five so if I run the program now There is exists uh, what am I missing? Boom boom in the dice sorry, a dot number. I don't need a dot because the number variable is in this current object. Right, so that was the error. So let's save that and let's run this program. So it's saying you wrote a five, you wrote a three, you wrote a one. So that works, right? I've saved myself from typing two lines of code every time I want to roll. Now, if you remember, the aim of the game was we want to keep rolling until a 2 comes up so what happens is I'm gonna say while a condition is true I'm gonna keep rolling the die while something is true I keep repeating this action so that is what 
the while loop means. Keep repeating something while something is true. While what is true? While the number on the top of the die does not equal two. Okay, an exclamation mark, exclamation mark in front of the equal sign means does not equal. So while the number on the die does not equal two, I'm going to keep executing this. And just so I can tell when the game has started, just before I start rolling, I'm going to say print out on the screen the game starts now you will keep rolling the dice the die until you roll a 2 okay so now we know that what's hap now we know what's happening let's run this so run hello Ah, there's another error. Where is the error? The error is I didn't put a semicolon at the end of this line. Remember to put a semicolon at the end of each statement. So let's run this. The game starts now. You will keep rolling the die until you roll a 2. So you roll a 3, you roll a 2. And then I'm going to also print out at the end. Um, let's just drag this middle screen a bit bigger so you can see it. The game has ended because you have rolled a two. Okay, save it, run this program, okay, and it says you rolled a 3, a 1, a 6, and then you finally rolled a 2, okay, um, just before we finish, I also want to introduce another variable called n and it's just an integer int n and at the start n is going to be equal to 0 and what does n tell us n tells us n equals the number of times you have rolled the die okay and then every time I roll it I'm going to increment n by 1 so n plus plus so at the end I'm also going to say you have rolled the die plus n plus times okay so if I execute this now hopefully there are no errors what's gonna happen is it is going to run this program it is going to keep rolling the dice until I get a 2 and it's also going to tell me how many times I've rolled the dice right that's what the n variable is doing originally it's zero every time I roll it it increases by one that's what the n plus plus means and then at the end it shows me what n is so let's run this and it tells me I've rolled the dice six times six times to get to a two if I run it again, one time, four times, 
seven times, one time, four times. Alright, so it seems like it's working. Okay, thanks for watching guys, see you next time.